Hello everyone, this is Ankur Chaudhary and in this video lecture I'll be covering current affairs from India and across the world from 16 December 2017 till 31st December 2017. These are the broad areas that I'll be covering current affairs in. Let's start with awards and honours. Firstly, the Joda East Iron Mine of Tata Steel was honoured with the prestigious Golden Peacock Innovation Management Award for the year 2017 for driving innovation in mines. The Golden Peacock Award was established by the Institute of Directors and it is the premier award for corporate excellence in the country. Next, Bollywood actress Miss Anushka Sharma was named PETA's Person of the Year 2017 for her efforts to help protect dogs from fireworks. PETA of course is an international organization which promotes ethical treatment of animals and it stands for People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. Next, Itanagar based author and journalist Mamang Dai won the Sahitya Academy Award for her 2014 novel The Black Hill. Again, the Sahitya Academy Awards are the highest awards given in India for achievements in literature. Next, Ramesh Kuntal Meg was conferred with the 2017 Sahitya Academy Award for Hindi Literature for his book of literary criticism Vishwamithak Sarit Sagar. Next, some important news from business. Firstly, the government of Andhra Pradesh entered into an agreement with Alphabet Inc. This is the parent company, this is the parent company of the search giant Google in order to bring the breakthrough free space optical communication technology in order to provide internet through government fiber grid project. So the free space optical communication technology, it is an upcoming technology which uses uh, waves and reflects them back from space uh, for transferring internet uh, or rather data up across two points in the world. Next, GOI or the government of India engage private lender ICICI Bank to enable online payments at 470 Mondays, right? so Sabzi Mondays, integrated with the National Portal of Electronic National Agricultural Market, that is eNAM. Next, the Union Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship signed an agreement with Maruti Suzuki Limited, Maruti Suzuki Limited to impart training to youth and enhance their employment potential. Next, smartphone manufacturer Samsung launched its bill payments on its flagship payment service that is Samsung Pay in partnership with Axis Bank. So, this can be a question with which bank has Samsung collaborated in order to launch Samsung Pay. Next, the United Kingdom topped the Forbes rankings of best countries in the world for business in 2018. India was ranked a lowly 62nd on the list. Next we see some news from politics. First, the 2018 Asian India Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, also more popularly known as the NRI Day, will be held in Singapore on 6 to 7 January 2018 to celebrate 25 years of strategic partnership between India and Asia. Now, ASEAN stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations. It is a grouping of 10 uh, Southeast Asian nations like Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, etc. Next, the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation formally launched the Ganga Gram project. This is important. Under the umbrella project that is Namami Gange program for holistic sanitation development in villages on the banks of river Ganga. So the umbrella program or the larger program that is Namami Gange, this is involved in cleaning up the waters of the river Ganga. So in order to ensure uh, good sanitation in villages on the banks of the river, this particular smaller project that is Ganga Gram project has been launched. Next, Manoj Sinha, the Union Minister of Communications launched project Darpan. Darpan of course stands for Digital Advancement of Rural Post Office 
for a new India. So Darpan is basically involved in modernization and digitalization of post office network in the country which is quite vast. Next, India and Myanmar signed an MOU. MOU is a memorandum of understanding. It is nothing but an agreement. Yes, so India and Myanmar signed an MOU to on restoration of normalcy and development of the Rakhine state. So if some of you might be knowing that uh, there has been an exodus or fleeing of uh, Rohingya Muslims from Myanmar facing persecution from the Myanmarese army. So Rakhine state is the state where the Rohingya population is concentrated. Rakhine state, let's continue, from where thousands of Rohingya Muslims recently fled to Bangladesh following incidents of violence against the community. Next, the government of India and the World Bank signed a $125 million credit agreement for the skills strengthening for industrial value enhancement operation that is STRIVE. Now STRIVE will be aimed at improving the quality of long term vocational training provided in industrial training institutes and apprenticeship. So industrial training institutes are institutes, technical institutes run by the government of India which provide certain vocational courses uh, which enable people to get work in certain factories. Right? So in order to improve the quality of these courses in ITIs, again this program has been launched. Next economy and finance. Firstly, cryptocurrency dealer Pluto Exchange announced the launch of India's first mobile application for transacting in virtual currencies. Now you have to understand here trading in cryptocurrencies like bitcoins etc is not yet legal in the country. Next, Bank of Baroda signed an MOU with Purti. Purti stands for Platform for Online Ordering and Rural Transformation India. Agri Services Private Limited to enable the farmers to purchase agricultural inputs such as fertilizers, pesticide seeds provided by Purti. Next, at 9.9% ratio, India was ranked fifth on the list of countries with highest non-performing assets and was on top spot among the BRICS nations as per a recent report by Care Ratings has revealed. Care Rating, of course, is a credit rating agency. Now, the, there is a huge problem of non-performing assets as far as India is concerned. So NPAs are basically assets which uh, are loans that uh, the banks have given out to certain people and these people have not been able to return them. Again, NPA is just short of position of default. So person is late in making the payment but has not defaulted as of now. Next, as per a report published by Center for Economics and Business Research, India will overtake United Kingdom and France in 2018 to become the world's fifth largest economy. Next, in a move aimed at combating black money stashed abroad, India signed an agreement with Switzerland that would allow automatic sharing of tax related information from 1st January 2018. Next, according to recently released UN World Migration Report 2018, which was published by International Organization for Migration, India has the largest diaspora in the world with more than 15.6 million people from India living overseas. Again, as far as such reports are concerned, it is important for you to remember the organization which is res uh, responsible for publishing such reports. Next, next we see some important people in news. Firstly, senior IPS officer Abhay was appointed Director General of Narcotics Control Bureau. Next, Lieutenant General B.S. Sehrawat took charge as the new Director General of the National Cadet Corps or the NCC. Next, ex-football superstar George Mia was elected as the new President of Liberia. Liberia is a small country in um, Western Africa after beating Vice President Joseph Bokai. Next important, Jairam Thakur, who is a five-time member of Legislative Assembly from Siraj constituency in Mandi district, was sworn in as the 14th Chief Minister of the state after the BJP rested power in the Assembly elections in Himachal Pradesh. Next, Mr. Sebastian Pinera won Chile's presidency with his center-left opponent Alejandro Guler conceding the elections. Next. Justice 
Umesh Dattarai Salvi was appointed as acting chairperson of the NGT. NGT of course stands for National Green Tribunal. It is a primary uh, quasi-judicial body which arbitrates on all cases related to environmental issues. So he is the acting chairperson of National uh, Green Tribunal following the superannuation or retirement of Justice Swatantar Kumar. Next, Vinay Sahastrabuddhi, uh, BJP leader and Rajya Sabha MP from Maharashtra, was appointed as the new president of the Indian Council of Cultural Relations. Next, some important news from sports. Firstly, Birmingham in UK was selected to host the Commonwealth Games in 2022, the biggest sporting event to be awarded to an English city since the London Olympics of 2012. Next, Sir Mohammad Mukhtar Jama, more popularly known as Mo Farah, who is Britain's most successful ever distance runner, won the 2017 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award. Next, Winter Dream was unveiled as the official emblem for Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games. Next, the Union Sports Ministry sanctioned ex Gracia's assistance of Rs 5 lakh to the family of Nitisha Negi, the teenage footballer who drowned in the sea at Glenelg Beach in Adelaide, Australia in September 2017. Next, an important Indian chess champion Vishwanathan Anand won the 2017 World Rapid Chess Championship by beating Russia's Vladimir Fedosev in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Again, for such important news, you have to remember the opponent that the person beat in the finals. Next, some miscellaneous news. First, the world's longest glass bridge was opened to the public. It is located in Xijiang, Zhuang, Hebei province near Beijing, the capital of China. Next, China launched the world's largest amphibious aircraft, AG-600. So, amphibious aircraft, it can uh, make a landing on land as well as water, that is the sea. Next, in the 2017 bilateral naval exercise Naseem Al Bahar or Sea Breeze started between Indian Navy and the Navy of Oman at Said bin Sultan Naval Base located in Wudam in Oman itself. Next, the Parliament of France approved a law banning all exploration and production of oil and natural gas by 2040 within the country and its overseas territories. This is important because it marks a significant shift from fossil fuels towards renewable energy resources for energy. Next, the World Health Organization or the WHO officially declared Gabon. Gabon is a country in Africa as a polio free country. Next, the 8th edition of bilateral military exercise Ecoverin 2017 was conducted between India and Maldives in Karnataka. Next, on 30th December, Andaman and Nicobar Islands commemorated the 74th anniversary of the first tricolor hoisting by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in the island in the year 1943, four years before India's independence. Next, the 78th session of the Indian History Congress was held at Jadavpur University campus in Calcutta, West Bengal. Next, the 25th edition of the five-day National Children's Science Con Congress started at Science City in Ahmedabad. So, locations of such important events are also critical. Next, India's first ever broad gauge air conditioned AC EMU. Right? So, AC stands for air conditioned and EMU is electric motor unit. Suburban train was flagged off from Borivali station on Western Railway in Mumbai, Maharashtra. So, this is the first air conditioned suburban train that has been launched in the country and has been launched or flagged off from the Borivali station. Next, India's first homegrown high purity gold reference standard, the Bharatiya Nirdeshak Dravya. The standards code is BND4201. It was launched at the India Government Mint, Mumbai. So any piece of gold which has this marking that is BND4201, that means that it is 99.99% pure. Next, the Siddharamaya uh, government in Karnataka unveiled a brand 
new logo for Bangalore that is B U. Next, uh, the Good Governance Day was celebrated in India on December 25th to mark the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Next, the second edition of Iran Shah Udvad Utsav, a cultural festival of the pa Parsi community, was held in Gujarat. Next, the National Mathematics Day was celebrated in India on December 22nd to commemorate the birth anniversary of the great mathematical genius Shinivas Ramanujan. Next, the National Farmers Day was celebrated in India on December 23rd to acknowledge the role of farmers in India's socio-economic development and to mark the birth anniversary of the fifth Prime Minister of India, late Chaudhary Charan Singh. So again, this also becomes important. First, when is um, the National Farmers Day celebrated and the reason why it is celebrated in India. Next, India's first and only design university, World University of Design, opened its campus in the city of Sonipat in Haryana. It is promoted by Om Prakash Bansal Educational and Social Welfare Trust of Mandi Govindgad. Mandi Govindgad, of course, lies in Punjab. Next, the Ministry of Railways is to set up the first ever National Rail and Transport University in Vadodara to skill its human resources and build capability. Next, the Vijay Divas was commemorated on December 16th to mark India's victory over Pakistan in the 1971 war, which led to the independence and creation of a new nation that is Bangladesh. Next, Delhi was ranked 7th in most expensive office locations list in the world according to the latest JLL India report 2017. Next, Meghalaya became India's first state to operationalize a law that makes social audit of government programs and schemes a part of government practice. So a social audit would involve checking of government expenditures, what all the expenditure or the uh, money has been spent on by uh, soci local societies, let's say NGOs or people from the local villages as well. So that brings me to the end of this particular presentation. I hope you find this helpful in your preparation. Thank you.